Hello everyone. Where I live, there's no place close by that I can get frozen fish food that I can trust has not been thawed out and refrozen or comes in either the little tiny little squares that are incredibly expensive or in a two pound big block that I have no idea how you actually get some of that to feed to your fish. So I'm forced to order it. Now, then people will ask me, well, you know, if you order frozen food online, is it, is it okay when it arrives? What's it look, what do I do with it? They don't know anything about it. So, I ordered, uh, and I paid the same price everybody else pays, I ordered from Drs. Foster and Smith yesterday morning frozen blood worms. Now, they charge in the neighborhood of $25 or something like that for overnight shipping. So, while the blood worms are at a good price, You've got to order several pounds to make it work with the price of the shipping. They also have frozen brine shrimp, daphnia, all kinds of stuff for your saltwater fish. A great selection, but since I raise a lot of brine shrimp and I raise some adults to feed to my fish, I don't want that frozen. That doesn't give me a, a choice in foods. So I use the blood worms. That gives me a lot of iron in the blood worms and nutritional elements that I don't get in all of my live food, grindle worms and white worms. So here's what you get. You get, doesn't matter what you order, it seems like you get this giant box. Mine was delivered by UPS. I think sometimes they use FedEx. It's got to be whoever they got a great deal with. So you open the box. And opening the box is pretty cool got your invoice, shipping papers. I'll set that aside. And then everything you get inside this box is like really cool stuff. Starts off with, they give you one of the neatest styrofoam boxes you've ever seen. If I can get it off. Looks like I may be upside down. No, okay. Fits right there. So you get a really cool styrofoam box. It's only about eight inches tall which means it fits in your luggage for when you fly off the fish events. You can pack this box full of fish, put it in your luggage, and you're ready to go. The other thing that you get, and I don't know how they do this, how it kills it, because these things are expensive, but they're going to pack all of the box that you didn't use with these freezer blocks. Now, you can use the freezer blocks, you can put a bunch of them inside of a Ziploc bag to make big freezer blocks, whatever, but you're going to get a big old batch of these freezer blocks. These are cool too. Then we finally get down to the frozen blood worms. Now, I like the one pound containers, uh, mostly because I can take them and very easily say, break a chunk off. I can just take my fist and smash and break off pieces for my fish every day. Uh, if you pick the right end, it's got a, a uh, one of them press things so it refills. Getting it ready for that is simple. You just pull that end. Man, spread this apart, open it up, take out your shrimp. Now, they'll pack in your shrimp, and this time I couldn't even remember how many I ordered. Four, five, I ordered six pounds. So you get six pounds like this nice and easy, easy to use, easy to work with. Put these in your freezer. They don't really take up that much space. And then of course the whole bottom is covered in more of these delightful little freezer bags. Plus you get this really cool styrofoam box. So if you order frozen foods, a lot of people will order like three or four of the blood worms and three or four of the brine shrimp. You can mix and match and they give you a discount. Uh, per pound or whatever depending upon how many you buy. So the more you buy the cheaper they get. After about six it's not too bad. These work out to be about twelve dollars a pound I think. Something like that. But you see these are frozen solid. They have not been thawed out. There's no chance of me hurting my fish with these. These are perfect. So if you've wanted to know what happened if you ordered frozen fish food online and had it delivered. I ordered it yesterday morning. UPS delivered it about 15 minutes ago and everything is hard as a rock. 
So that's what happens when you do that. You can safely order your frozen food, but you want to be home. Somebody got to get it delivered to where you can get it inside because as summer comes, even these guys are not going to keep it cold all day when it's 90 and 100 degrees. So that's the story on frozen foods, and my fish will be happy with a fresh batch of frozen bloodworms. Thank you for watching.